All right, welcome to beautiful St. Thomas. No, that's Tortola. Welcome to beautiful Tortola. Welcome to beautiful Tortola in the British Virgin Islands. St. Thomas, Virgin Islands. We got in last night. The waves were crashing over the seawall and flooding into the street from Hurricane Karen. But now, the ferries are open. And we can now run over from St. Thomas to Tortola to look at the boat. Yeah. All right, so we're here in uh, St. Thomas. Red Hook Marina. Red Hook Marina. Because we flew in on that airport. Side. On the airport? We flew on in the on the airport, airport side of the island. <laughs> and because of Karen. The Karen. Karen. Um, she was complaining at all the ports and all the US and BBIs was closed. So we took a taxi all the way over to this side, other side of the island, north side. It's supposed to be a shorter trip. And we took a wild taxi ride in the back, getting thrown around, which is awesome. And even though we're in the US, technically they drive on the wrong side of the road. So now uh, we're gonna catch the 3 p.m. flight. Ferry. 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 We wanted to be in Tortola yesterday so we could be at the boat at 8 a.m., but that didn't happen. So now we're gonna be at the boat at 5 p.m. and have an hour and a half before nightfall to make the biggest decision of our lives. How do you feel about that? <laughs> so excited. <laughs> awesome. Not stressed at all. Not at all. So, uh, we'll try to update you on the boat. See you later. really uncomfortable on your feet, isn't it? Maybe I just have You have land feet. you have land lover feet. Um, it says right there. Max three shall be one time. I mean it's a little intimidating because it's so big. She is a big girl. Gives people some perspective. Sit down in the well over there. 
sorry, in the front cockpit. Match the other one. It's squishy. None of them are. Even straight from the manufacturer, none of them are perfect. Is it in better or worse condition than you thought it would be? Um, from the pictures that Jeff sent us, I think it's about what I expected. I don't think that there were necessarily any surprises. Um, I don't know, like I said, I think the intimidating factor is just the fact that she's so big. I see months of work to bring it up to our level of Bristol condition. Yeah. Which is, a, that part is a little intimidating. But she doesn't creak when you walk through her. The floors mm -hmm. don't creak. Just this, just, just patch. Just squishes. Just, just the, the lazarettes. That's a beautiful gray color though. The Bimini is in good shape. So we do have a Bimini to start with. Stitching. No, that is not good. Hold that for me. top. Cars look good. They're clean. Let's try to pick up your awful action. So you guys stand somewhere? Uh, uh, Maria? Maria? No, you're by the seat. Yes. Oh, okay. That's I don't, know a, I don't, I don't have a room it. yet. I know. Okay. Did you um, call him? Uh -uh. Okay, because last minute is not easy. It's not? You, want, um, you, call, you should call. I'll call him as soon as we're done uh, in here. Okay. I mean, if we... I can stay wherever. Honestly, I just need a place to stay. We came down to see the boat and you, and when we're done, we're gonna hop a ferry. Flight leaves three o'clock tomorrow. tomorrow. I gotta go back to work. So, <laughs> it's four days to be here for an hour and a half. AC controls, but no AC. Fans. It's like we're need a light. So this will be here. Come on in. Close the door. So the door's a good inch and eight thick, we need some edge banding. This will be where the washer and dryer go. One washer. Of washer, and then dryer can go in here. Electric heads. And that's my phone up there. I'm still in the head. Oh, okay. Okay. Close this door, please. Water tanks are down below. 
interesting. More storage. This also appears to be about 14 inches wide, 12 inches deep. I do not think it's going to be lipstick on the page. I think that it's a solid boat. And you know how I hate the word good bones more than anything in the whole world. Yeah. But it's spit polish stuff. It's got some rust, it needs some fairing. It definitely needs new hardware inside. Every hinge, handle, knob, pull. Faucet. Faucet. Um, yeah, I think it's a great start. And I think it's only gonna be a few months to get it where we want. And we don't have to do it all at one time. We can get it up and running and good to go and come back and do some pretty stuff later but it's big enough that I feel comfortable maybe that's nothing to say about a sailboat because it's a really big sailboat 27 foot beam 45 feet long 38,000 pounds empty At this point, Ty and I knew that this was our boat. I even said it to him out loud. It was crazy to me to think that we were standing on our new home, getting ready to start this new adventure. Now that we'd seen the boat in person, after we made an offer on it already, we knew that it was time to take the next step. We needed a haul out, a sea trial, and a survey. So a few weeks later, back to Tortola, I went. The survey starts in the water, where our surveyor here is sounding the hole with a hammer to check for delamination or blistering and hull integrity. From there, we check everything on the top side of the boat from bimini's and soft goods to the windlass, anchor chain, and rigging. Uh, he was all over that boat from tip to stern and checking every fitting and every connection and showing me some stuff along the way, like here with the windlass. This boat has half inch chain on it, and what you see here is a pile of about 175 feet of it. The boat was a bit dirty, but all of the equipment was in great shape. This boat's got SD60 sail drives and some 57 horsepower Yanmar diesel engines. Steering gear is in good shape. After going through all the equipment in the water, then next comes haul out. This is typically done on a short haul over lunch. That gives us enough time to look at all the wetted surfaces on the boat, sound the bottom of the hull, and gives the yard crew a chance to have lunch. Also, we go up the mast because the boat is in the sling, so the boat's a little more stable. So if you're at the top of the mast, it's not rocking around. And then we head out for sea trial. First, we ran everything under power, run the engines up to 3,000 RPMs to check everything. We follow that up with putting the sails up because she is a sailboat. So first we head into the wind, pull the sail up and it flaps like crazy. And then as soon as the sail is up and we turn into the wind, the sails fill and we can see how she does under sail. Last sail we put up is the jib. For all the jib outs, don't show it here, but we tacked a couple times and we're able to sail for 30 or 40 minutes and just check the points of sail, make sure the rigging and all of the running gear was operating smoothly. Really, other than being dirty, she was actually in great shape. Ty flew home, told me all about his experience, about how when the sails filled, he just got goosebumps all over. He just knew that it was meant to be. This was the one. It was time to accept the vessel and proceed with a quick close or so we thought. More on that in the next video. But for now, she's the one. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram to keep up with our day to day. If you'd like to be part of the crew, make sure you jump over on Patreon and join us there. Speaking of, we'd like to give a big shout out to our first patron subscribers, Don and Kathy from Colorado. Thanks guys, we really appreciate you. We'll see you guys next week. Created.